We also had Nurmagomedov versus Martinez. Saeed Nurmagomedov. Yeah. Be clear about that. Dude, this yeah, no is relation. When, when we're taking a look at the card, this is one yeah, of the ones is... that I circled. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Jonathan Martinez. Uh, it, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Jonathan Martinez before used to have like a weight cut issue, right? He's missed like twice, I think. But hasn't happened as of late. He's been yeah. on fire lately. Uh, he's a very creative striker, especially with his kicks. And yeah. Saeed Nurmagomedov, you usually see that last name. You're like, oh, hardcore grappler. He's going to come in and just clinch right away. And no, no. Saeed is down to throw hands, and his kicks are amazing as well. So I was like, this Spinning is going to be Saeed. a little. That should be his nickname. Spinning Saeed. Dude spins every single chance he has. Oh, dude, the spinning back. But maybe the stuff? best at it. Maybe the best at it. He lands yeah, it most, most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I felt like Saeed did a really good job of getting off the first round. Yeah, really good job. I mean, Martinez looked like he had no clue what was happening. It was just yeah, like and <laughs> just finding is, a Beyblade. <laughs> when they did <laughs> a Beyblade, when they did <laughs> clinch, though, Norma Gomez, I was like, hey, check out my last name. I can also grapple. <laughs> Yeah. You can't have that last name and not have had grappling when you were growing up. No, you have a beard like that. You know how to grapple, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like but this. you know, the, the thing is that, oh, look at that shot right there too. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but maybe like Something a little sick. hip toss. Something yeah. Sick. Now. <laughs> oh, he did hip toss him, right? He hit him with the yeah, hip Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's yeah. what it was. But going into the second <laughs> oh, round. Like he did do it, right? As I'm looking at a picture of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're going into the second round, and Martinez does a really good job of clinching Nurmagomedov up against the fence, mm -hmm. which takes away those lanky kicks from a distance, yeah. the spinning shit that he likes to do. Really hard to spin when somebody's pushing you up right up against the fence. And then from yeah. there, Jonathan Martinez did a really nice job of landing elbows, like that little uppercut elbow oh, that yeah. he landed that I think too. broke his nose, the knees, everything, man. I feel like Martinez did a really good job from the second round on around just taking away uh, Saeed's weapons. Yeah, no, he did a fantastic job. What did you think of the decision? I was fine with it. I was too. I, I, I see some people sad it, about it. If it, if it would have gone Saeed's way, I would have been fine with it. If it would have gone Jonathan's yeah. way, I, I am fine with it. Um, I lean I, I Martinez, was, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody was robbed uh, mm -hmm. by any means, but I definitely think that Martinez won the second and third round. Yeah, that's how I had it too. Uh, and it, it's a doozy of a first round to get through because he was getting lit up in that first round. <laughs> well, I think that's really when he got good. hit with the spinning back fist, right? Yeah, yeah. He was getting cracked. But, <laughs> he was game though because there was one where he's going up, uh, trying to close the distance against Saeed. And I think that's when he landed the spinning back fist and Saeed kept mm -hmm. on moving back as he did. And Martinez like stops in his tracks, like just yeah. dead stops in his tracks like, holy shit. And then he just kept on moving forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And got cracked a couple more times on the way. And I was like, holy. He, dude, he was he was up for a brawl in that first round. And then he got that good advice from his corner. Yep. Going into the second round, like, dude, I'm kind of getting cracked. Let's let's not get into a, <laughs> a <laughs> yeah, trading yeah. match like that. And he he did a great job the last two rounds. Yeah. H HLB Comer said Saeed got lucky last time with the submission, not this time with the decision. Yeah, I thought everyone was talking. So his last fight was against uh, Kakramanov, right? Um, and I thought it looked like he was on his way to get out grappled in that fight, and he got like a front headlock choke. Uh, I don't think it was yeah. a, I don't think it was a guillotine. Maybe it was a guillotine, but he caught him with like a front choke, and uh, and it it looked like up until that point, I was like, oh wow, Kok Romanov's grappling is super good. Like he was outworking Saeed, but then he caught the choke, and then they cut him. I think they cut Kok Romanov after that. I was like, what are you doing? And now I think he's on the. Uh, no, he's not. Never mind. But Kak Romanov should be in the UFC. That's crazy that they come. Dude, so for Martinez, he's won seven of his last eight fights. He's on a five-fight win streak. Damn. He, he should be cracking now? now into the the top 15 after this yeah. fight. He that, beat that division's Swanson crazy, the last, the last two, Saeed Nurmagomedov and Cub Swanson were his last two wins. Yeah, yeah. One of those is better than the other. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I mean, if, if if the Cubs sponsor fight was ten years ago, but it's but again, it's you got someone with the name. Um, yep. So where where's he at? He's he's unranked right now, right, Martinez? Unranked. I think he's going to be cracking into the fourteenth spot. 
Ooh. if you just shove Saeed out of the way. I just got really bummed because I, I saw Chris Gutierrez there at 13, and I was like, that's a great fight, but I think he's also one of his corner men, so I don't think that fight's well, going to happen. <laughs> yeah, so uh, really happy, though, for, for Martinez. I like Martinez. He has very Me fun too. performances. He get, he He's one of those guys that will like get into that flow state, you know, and start really mixing it up well. Nothing like too unorthodox. He just really like varies his attacks, you know. He doesn't just like he, he's not just a jab heavy guy. It's not like he spams like one one attempt, you know, or one technique. He really starts throwing everything in there. Who who uh who do you pin him up against? Uh yeah, I don't know, man. Ricky Simone. Dude, they, I mean, take a look at the top ten there. It's Ricky ridiculous. Simone, Pedro Munoz, uh Song Yadong. Eh, Give him Umar. But then you got Rob Font. Oh my. Just the Nerma Gamet <laughs> House. Yeah. And then you go into- <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, uh, but yeah, props to Jonathan Martinez, man. Uh, he has a really, really bright future ahead of him. Uh, yeah. dude, have you seen him in weigh ins? He looks like he has to mean? go through some shit to make weight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's like, he looks like you uh, look at his like legs and stuff. Like, he's a thick dude, you know? Like, he's like a, he's a pretty big bantamweight. <laughs> you ever watch Coco? No, no. Oh, dude, the I animation. Though. Yeah, I know it looked oh, really good. True. But he looks like one of the skeletons from Coco. Like when he oh, when dude. he goes out there, dude, it's bad, man. Yeah, we we, we, should, uh, we should get him on the show. <laughs> Hopefully, the Richard... skeletons. Yeah, or Martinez. No, Martinez looks like oh. one of the skeletons from Coco. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see a skeleton on there. And they're like, hey, that looks like Jonathan Martinez. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be so random. Hey everybody, Romero and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.